restrictions on it. But in one day, 2,000 people killed, 2,000 civilians killed. What are we doing to support the Tamil community? And that's all these protests are about. It's saying we want people to know about this issue. If we care about human rights and justice, then what are we going to do to support the Tamil struggle in Sri Lanka? Now, through the day today, we heard that while uh, closing off uh, smaller streets may be not as much of an issue as closing off the Gardner Expressway, just because of secure or safety concerns uh, for commuters, but also for the people that were up on the expressway, do you feel like maybe it wasn't the safest thing to do? Well, I think a lot of the debate is sometimes framed about whether it's safe or inconvenient, but the real issue here is that 2,000 people were killed in 24 hours, and our government has done nothing to protest that. And so what I think people are trying to do is get the attention of the wider public and put pressure on our government. And if you balance the question of inconvenience, I mean, think about all the festivals or concerts that happened in downtown Toronto in the summer when people were inconvenienced then. This is a human rights issue where there's a near genocide underway in Sri Lanka, and all we're trying to do is to build support to say that our government needs to act. If our government claims it supports human rights, then it has has to mobilize and do something to make sure that the slaughter of Tamils ends immediately. 2,000 people in one day, and there's still reports coming in that more people are being shelled. There are no safe zones, hospitals have been attacked, schools, there's nowhere for civilians to go, and the government is doing nothing about it. If this protest had continued into the night and into tomorrow morning, would you have stayed? I would have stayed, but you can look, there was a collective discussion amongst the community about what they wanted to do. They were satisfied that they got their message out, they've been negotiating people, they've been calling their MPs, the media's been down here. Everybody's talking about the struggle that's happening in Sri Lanka now, the situation that Tamils have been suffering. And it's not just been the last few weeks, actually since January, it's near 8,000 people who have been killed in Sri Lanka, 8,000 Tamils have been killed. And actually over the last 20 years, 70 to 80,000 people have been killed. So there's a real anxiety. People here tonight haven't heard from family members, they haven't heard from whatever. So they want to talk about what's happening and they want to put pressure on the Canadian government to act. Thank you for chatting with you. What's your name? James Clark. Thank you, James. Nice chatting with you. So, uh, huge crowd of people, a lot of them just uh, making their way down the Spadina on-ramp, but a lot of them have stopped to see what we're doing here.